Hi, my friends. Let's model the part number 29 shaft guide from my collection of 100 parts. Before to study the drawing, look at the picture shaft guide. As you can see, this profile is uh, moved on a reverted U. Yes, there are two blocks on the base and a cylinder with hole up. It seems to be not so complicated. Dimensions are here and you can see the profile. We'll create this contour, closed contour, and a curve to apply sweep at the beginning. Okay, let's start. We start by drawing the U-shape with the center on this uh, on the Y-axis. This is not difficult because we have our own style with the lines and arcs. Okay. Now you see that uh, these uh, ends are not well constrained and these two must be equal. These two arcs. Then I place on the same horizontal these two and on the same horizontal with this. On the same vertical now are placed these ones. Now let's apply dimensions. You see 124 and 122 are the dimensions of the reverted U. almost equal. One hundred and thirty twenty two home and one hundred and twenty four The radius is uh, 35 Finish sketch F6 And now this is 35, yes Now we create this profile which will be uh, placed on the with this face on the U curve. 30, 28. Thickness, 8. Let's create this in the plane, in this plane. F5 to see uh, the situation. And now I draw uh, a T with its dimensions close equal this line with this line and uh, on the same horizontal this midpoint with this midpoint dimensions 30 
with 28. 28. On both arms. Good. Now I have to project this point in order to make coincident with this. Project geometry point and coincident. Fully constrained. Finish sketch. Home F6. Uh, and uh, sweep. We only select the curve and the most of the, this part is uh, made. Yes. Now we create one block and then mirror the block with the holes. 22 on 56 and placed you see at this face 30 minus 8 is 22 this is the room for the block so we create and this plane a sketch like uh, this 22 tab 56 okay now I project this geometry in my plane and I apply coincident coincident excuse me of this midpoint to this midpoint. Extrude on 17. Finish sketch. Extrude 17 but with the join in the other direction. 17. Okay. Fillet uh, radius three millimeters. Good radius three millimeters. Three three all corners. Okay. On this face two holes. I place points one two I connect them as construction line the, that points escape not construction this is horizontal vertical of this line um, F7 to see the center point because I want to put the midpoint which is this on the same horizontal with the center point the dimension the unique dimension is 34 very nice when you place all the uh, constraints you uh, remain with a small number of dimensions 34 finish sketch there is another constraint to place on the same vertical this point with this midpoint now is okay hole the points are used of uh, 18 18 okay through 
F6, now mirror of uh, this feature, fillet and extrusion, all three features are to be mirrored about this plane. Okay, the last feature is uh, this cylinder 125 with 40 diameter 37 you remember so I create a plane starting from this at 125 altitude in this plane we create a circle with a diameter of 37 37 fully constrained because I started in the projection of the center point and now extrusion with join but in the other direction with a length of 40 let me write here 40 okay this plane is not necessary uh, and the hole is uh, 20 sketch close sketch hole this point 20 through yes okay material is uh, still cast aspect general aspect is still cast and uh, machined are this face maybe this face and also bottom with say these four holes to be still polished data high properties physical update one kilos and 200 grams that's all for the moment bye bye